Well, I think our provider uh, and the provider of most media from the Knesset uh, has got their act together, and we now have Prime Minister Gordon Brown, the British Prime Minister, uh, addressing the Knesset in Jerusalem. Thank you. Well, an unelected uh, Prime Minister speaks to the Parliament of a country in violation of more UN Security Council resolutions than any other on the planet. Uh, that was uh, Gordon Brown, the British Prime Minister, who used his uh, address to the Knesset uh, to uh, criticize Iran and to uh, target Iran uh, more than any other country. He applauded, uh, he applauded uh, ties, particularly electrical equipment, with uh, the Israeli state. Uh, some might say, of course, uh, it could be the electrical shock batons. He kept on going on also about Israeli casualties through terrorism. Of course, uh, the deaths of Palestinians since the Second Intifada are five to one. Gordon Brown uh, also was Chancellor of the Exchequer under Tony Blair. He faces a by-election critical, they say, to his leadership of the British Labour Party. And uh, in a constituency in his country, in the United Kingdom, uh, his economic policies, his critics charge him with uh, creating a gap between rich and poor that has led to uh, the constituency where the by-election is being held, the life expectancy in Britain, in that city, to be worse than in the Gaza Strip. He applauded uh, Zionist thinkers such as uh, Herzl. He applauded uh, Israel's work in other countries. Uh, unclear whether he was talking about Israel's support, of course, for uh, apartheid and uh, for those who wanted to kill Nelson Mandela. Uh, he, was, he was speaking just after Ehud Olmert, who is facing a fourth round of uh, corruption investigations, uh, cross-examinations. So in a sense, uh, some analysts are saying these are two very beleaguered leaders because uh, some are saying there may be a vote of no confidence in Gordon Brown's leadership uh, come uh, Friday when the results of that crucial by-election in Britain are uh, released. Uh, he himself and the Labour Party that he governs is uh, polling now the worst, uh, among the worst figures in its history. A uh, British civil servant from the Foreign Office quoted in a uh, Israeli newspaper, Haaretz, as saying, poor Gordon Brown, because of course his trip coincides with a trip to the Middle East by Senator Barack Obama. Senator Barack Obama favors a uh, troop withdrawal timetable from Iraq something that Gordon Brown, and of course Gordon Brown voted with Tony Blair for the invasion of Iraq, and he is uh, closely tied to that invasion. We were speaking earlier to Tony Benn, uh, father of the House of Commons and a veteran Labour MP, who said that Gordon Brown uh, will do whatever Washington tells him to do. And certainly uh, most analysts watching that speech uh, would probably see that there is uh, not, a, not a piece of tissue